along with Coach Pastor. All right, thank you very much, Randy. 79-51 Louisville over Georgia Tech today. And Coach, you're without a lot of firepower, 41% of your score. What made it a struggle? really on both ends of the floor in the first half. I know you needed a, a strong start to, to be competitive and feed that belief against Louisville, but uh, never quite materialized. Yeah, you know, Andy, just, you know, we, Jordan Awara uh, got going just like Reed did on Wednesday. And when guys in this league, like a high-level guy gets going, the basket just opens up. It's like standing on a pier shooting the ball into an ocean. And that first half, again, first half versus Clemson, first half versus Louisville, we just had bad starts, and we dug ourselves in such a deep hole and hard to get ourselves out of it. And, um, um, and hey, that's part of it. Yeah, we were down some guys this week and down today some guys. And um, the, the prognosis on uh, AD, Abdullah Gay, it's still just an unspecified medical condition. And how long he'll be out, he could miss the rest of the season or he could be back next week. I don't know. It's still up in the air. Uh, Brandon Alston, obviously, is just a personal issue, and it's just day by day. And... Uh, Jose, it's a groin issue, so I don't know. You know, that's going to be whenever the, the medical staff clears him to play. But, uh, hey, other guys got to be ready to go. And, you know, and, and um, I'm not a big believer in the woe is me or blame game or victim game. So we got to just, we got to figure it out. And we got to be better. And, and as I told our team, we can't let Louisville beat us twice, meaning we can't be having any hangover going into Wednesday, Tuesday's game versus Notre Dame. We got to snap out of it. This is a crazy league and find a way to try to get a win at home and even to back up to 500 into ACC play. James battled for you, new career high, 24 points, also 11 rebounds. What would you like out of his touches from the post? Well, we got to keep punching it inside. That's our only way to score right now. You know, with missing, like you said, we've missed some scoring. So we've got to keep attacking inside and keep punching the ball inside and trying to get things into the paint as much as we can. Um, easier said than done, but James did some nice things. We just got off kilter in the beginning first half defensively and we just they were scoring and we couldn't score and we missed a lot of free throws we missed a couple layups and just one of those games it wasn't a good game for us and, did, and credit to Louisville yeah. did, did you feel like offensively some of those missed shots might have affected the intensity on the oh, defensive end in the first half there, there's no question when you go for such a long span of not being able to score uh, it sucks the life out of you and um, <clears throat> um, and you know it, it, we struggle a little bit because maybe we don't have as many playmakers on the ball, so you, your best playmaker with the ball is Jose, um, and, he, and Mike DeVoe's better with Jose next to him, and so it was just a hard game for us to get anything going, and then when it, we got into that stretch where we couldn't score, and they would hit a couple threes, and it just kind of snowballed on us. Um, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed because, I, you know, obviously it was a great crowd by the fans. Uh, fans were terrific. We just, you know, we didn't do our part, unfortunately, but we can't let it have any hangover, and we got to be ready to go on, on Tuesday. And this is an incredible league, and we win on Tuesday, you're back to 500 in, in, in ACC play. And so we just got to keep figuring it out, and it's going to be a tough league, a tough stretch. And, and if we don't have guys back, other guys got to be ready to step up and, and produce for us. And, and I'll tell you what else, Andy, um, you know, what's great is, is I still, this team still got a chance to be really good. It only counts in the, score, in the loss column as one loss. It's not two losses, not three losses, only one. So there's a lot of positives that we can say that there's a lot of games left. Um, and, and once we get our guys back healthy, we got a chance to be really good. And in the short term, when they're not healthy and they're not here, other guys have got to figure it out and step up and, and make do. All right, finally, Michael DeVoe had to shoulder a lot of the point guard responsibilities in Jose's absence. Finished with eight points overall. Uh, how'd you feel he did? Uh, Mike was okay. You know, I, I think it hurt not having Jose next to him. Um, you know, this is all new for Mike that he's having to, there's a lot on his shoulders, and, and uh, uh, but it's good for him. It's part of the growing pains and the maturation process. Mike DeVoe is going to be a very good basketball player for us as he continues to grow, and, um, and, and he'll be better for it on Tuesday. All right, next game Tuesday, like you said, we'll talk to you on the call-in show on Monday. Okay, thanks, Andy. All right, head coach Josh Pastor, Randy, we'll kick it back to you. Thanks.